This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Ball Game patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koto, and welcome to Roll Camera in about 3 minutes. Review copy and B-movie expansion included. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1 to 4 players, playing time is medium, and it's a moderately complex game. You are a movie crew about to embark on an ambitious film project. Can you navigate your way through alligators on the set and the star demanding rewrites? Can you make the next Godfather or Manos the hands of fate? The game ends in a win if you shoot five scenes and the movie quality marker is outside the pink band. You lose immediately if you run out of budget or schedule. Dice. Dice are rolled each turn and placed to take actions on the board. Card management. There are multiple types of cards for you to manage. Variable player powers. Each crew member has unique abilities. Player turn. Start by choosing the game difficulty on the spinner. Turn it over and it shows how much money and time you have to spend. Then shuffle and reveal script cards. The top and bottom ones give bonus film quality and the middle one shows what genre tokens need to be on the film to win. Start each player turn by drawing a problem. Existing problems shift right. If you start the turn with three problems, don't draw a new one, but you can't do any other actions until at least one is resolved. Then roll the dice. They have six symbols on them, with the white VFX being a wild card. Then take actions on the board. This spot uses two dice and resolves the problem above it. Once five problems have been resolved, gain extra money or schedule. The second problem slot needs two matching dice, while the third slot needs three of them. A pair can be used here to rearrange the set or to place a new set tile. The possible scenes to shoot are on the left. We don't like these options, so we use a pair to wipe them. We want to shoot the scene. It will cost us three money to do so. We would then need to place the dice shown on the scene in the set on the blue spaces. Gain any benefits from spaces you placed in as well. Thankfully, we avoid the draw problem space at the bottom. Flip over the scene card and place it anywhere in your film. Note this scene has two bonus quality. You can also decorate the scene with props for fun. Replace the scene with a new one from the deck. Note that some scenes start with genre tokens. This spot lets us add or swap genre tokens. We need six robots to finish this film, so this guy is now a robot. The get in turn action can be used to flip any die to any side, but it does make you draw a problem and you'll have three equipment cards you can use once per game. The production meeting lets you pick three players, including yourself, to pitch ideas. Discuss these great ideas, then pick one to play immediately and one to discard. The third one goes here and can be played later. Note these actions can be used with one die, but will cost you money or quality if you do that. Each player also has unique actions on their player board. Finally, reclaim dice. If you are part way through shooting a scene, you leave them on the board. Then advance the schedule one step and pass the tracker to the next player. Why would you like this game? Roll Camera is an absolute hoot of a cooperative game and a tour de force on the ridiculous side of filmmaking. The core gameplay is a straightforward dice placement system that works, but what makes the game special is the atmosphere it brings to the table. Every problem you draw is an absolute horror show that will sabotage your efforts, and the ideas bring along their own laughably daft solutions. The storybook cards are also vibrant and silly, and the whole art direction drives home the candid nature of the game. And the player privileges, special non-functional rules for each player, are just so much fun to mess about with. The game has a cute clacker box and packs away into a film canister to two. This is a great game for any group who loves co-ops and having a laugh. The best thing about this game is the meetings, as everyone takes turn pitching their zany ideas. However, if you have a super serious group or you don't like co-ops, this won't be for you. You have to buy into some of the game's silly conceits to get the best out of it. If you want to try your hand at TV, check out the networks. And for a different silly co-op, try Space Cadets. Roll Camera, Oscar-worthy gold medal game. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.